Hey everyone, what's up? Markus from Future Studio University here. Welcome to another video on our happy series. In this video, we will walk through all kinds of usages of query parameters in Happy. Query parameters are a common way to send information from clients to the server. And of course, you can use query parameters in Happy too. Before we get started with the code, you should know that you can find the tutorial on our website. It's the first thing in the description below. And of course, the tutorial contains the code snippets for easy copy and pasting, so check it out. Okay, let's get started with the code. I've already prepared a skeleton, importing the happy dependency, creating a new server, setting the connection, and ultimately start the server. Nothing special. So what you need to define and add to your server is a route, so you can accept requests and query parameters within the request. So at first you need to set up a route within your server. It's as simple as using the server.route. And as you have learned in a previous tutorial, you need to set the method, which is a string or an array of HTTP methods. The second parameter or the second property is the path for your route and of course you need to set a handler accepting a function with the request and the reply interface okay and in your route you can access the query parameters which is a simple as request dot query that's it. You have access to your query parameters. Let's reply. Okay, we have set up our route. Now let's start our sample server and send a request including query parameters. I'm going to set a breakpoint to the reply so we can access the query parameter object and yeah, we can access the request object as well. To test our sample server, I'm going to use the Postman application. It's a very handy tool to test APIs and send requests to a, to a server containing specific headers and the request bodies and whatever you want to do. So check it out. It's a great tool. It's very convenient to send requests and test simple server setups and even complex server setups. However, let's move on to sending our first request to the server, like, like this one. Okay, query parameters are in the format of key values. So they're introduced on a given URL path the, within, with a question mark. The first query parameter is added to the URL path with a question mark and the key with an equal sign and the value. If you want to add multiple query parameters, you need to use the ampersand and we will check it in a second example. Let's start out with a simple sample and send this request to our server. Okay, as you can see, the request hit our server. We have access to the, to the request object and to the query property, which is an object, object itself within the internal request. Okay, you can see there's a JavaScript object having the key name, the value is Marcus, everything worked fine. I need to finish the request so that Postman accept, accept, the, uh, accept another request. And what we are interested in, and I've already mentioned it before, we can send multiple query parameters like this one. So we're adding another query parameter to name with value markers, which is filter with, with the value video. Let's send it. Okay, it hit our server. I mean, why not? We are, or we have already sent another request before. So as you can see, the query object updated and you have the filter property available within the query parameters with the expected value of videos. So you might think, what if I'm going to, to 
add another filter and have multiple query parameters of the same name? Yeah, well, you can do that, of course. Let's add another filter, which is premium tutorials. Okay, hit the server. Okay, what you're going to expect for the request, you are having multiple query parameters with the same key. So you might expect a list of values for this key and the query parameter object within the request contains an array of video and premium tutorials for the key filter as you might have guessed before. That's great. Okay, so up to this point, we have just tested the happy path. What if you're receiving requests that don't have a value assigned, where the key is defined, but the value is empty? Okay, let's remove the name. It's an empty name. We are keeping the filter for video and hit the server. Okay, as you can see, Happy does the job for you. Even if you're not receiving a value for a given key as a query parameter, you are receiving an empty value within your request parameters object. And you can go from there and handle it specifically, like rejecting the request or just don't execute on an empty parameter. So there's another situation. We are going to have the trailing slash on the URL route and you want to use query parameters too. So how is it going with when using a trailing slash on a route like this one and just and still adding a query parameter? How is it working? And well, you might expect it. It works as previously. So even though there's a trailing slash on a route path, you are receiving the query parameters as you would expect in the key value format. Happy can do the well, Happy does the parsing for you. It serves you well. And of course, you can add multiple query parameters the same way as we did before. The video filter is accepted and the name is still accepted. I mean, it worked before. Okay, so let's review what you've learned. You can accept simple query parameters like this. You can accept multiple query parameters like this. You can add even further query parameters like this one and query parameters of the same name. If you have multiple filters, Happy does a job for you and specifies an array for the, for the given key within your request object. Of course, you can add a trailing slash to your routes. If you're defining routes with a trailing slash, you can still add query parameters. Happy handles everything like it should be without the trailing slash. Okay, that's great. Thank you for watching the video. We truly appreciate you being around. We hope you have learned something new about query parameters and the query parameter handling in Happy. Give it a like if you learned something new. If you want to watch more videos within this Happy series, subscribe to the channel. There are also videos coming on Android. And we hope you're having a great day. Enjoy coding and make it rock.